Golly, it's a smooth reel. Look at that. These are the first prototypes of the new Jimmy Houston Blaze Series spinning rods and reel combo. And uh, we're getting ready to go out and play with them a little bit, getting ready to go out and see if we can't catch a few crappie on them or maybe use a little Ned Rig on them and see what we can do there. But as promised, I wanted to do a tip on winding online on a spinning reel. Now, winding online on a spinning reel is totally different than winding it on, on a casting reel. So let's wind this some line on here. Now, mostly nowadays, I am using, as most pros are using, braid on spinning reels. So, and I put usually 20 pound test. That's 20 pound test uh, high seas. And it's got a diameter of like, uh, what is that, about six pound test? Yeah, it's like a diameter of about six pound test line. So it's really, really, really small diameter. And yet it's 20 pound test line. Now what we normally do, we do tie direct to a lot of lures. What we normally do is we usually add a eight or 10 pound or six pound fluorocarbon or fluorocarbon coated leader to it. Okay, here's one of the critical things to do. This is pretty elementary, but if you don't do it this way, it's gonna be a lot harder, is you want to start and wind your, and, 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 and move your line through the, the guides of your, of your rod from the reverse side. In other words, you wanna start up here at the end. Golly, I don't have very good light in here. Start up here at the end, and then we're gonna run them down all the way through back to my reel. Now you don't, you can always just start down there on your reel, but it's gonna be a lot harder. So what you wanna do is we're gonna wind all the way back down. I don't know how many eyes this rod's got on it, but it's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. These are dynamite rods. I'm anxious to get out there and use these. These are, uh, this is an inexpensive, rod and reel set, the whole rod and reel for $79.95, yet you would have no problem using this in a tournament fishing for hundreds of thousands of dollars, I promise you, because I will probably be doing that if I decide to fish tournaments again next year. And that's still kind of up in the air right now. We don't know what's gonna happen there. One thing I love about spinning reels, if you start at the bottom end down there, they get bigger as you get close to the end. All right, now we got down there. That takes a little bit of time down there. I'm gonna lay this down in that seat right now. Oh my gosh, there's a bear back there. <laughs> All right, here's the other thing I wanna do down here. Now we've got these wound on. I'm gonna come in here and, uh, and take the end of it. I'm just gonna make a little knot in the end of it. That's all, just one little knot. Just what a country boy does when he gets ready to tie something. Puts a knot in the end of it to keep that from slipping through. Now, if you pull real tight against that knot on braided line, braided line is so slick that that braided line will actually pull through that knot. So you don't really want to put a pressure on that knot, but I'm gonna show you a little trick here in just a second that will, uh, that will make it real easy when you do that. Put just a little knot down there at the end of it. Pull that knot, and you see right there, I pulled that knot all the way through, which is pretty easy to do. I wanted to pull it right down to the end I can get by without a knot in there. It's just a country boy likes to put one in there. I'll tell you what I think I'll do. I'm gonna put two in that one. That always helps to put two knots in there instead of one. And you pull one knot down against the other. And if you don't pull down too hard against those, those probably will not slip back through. All right. Got those knots in there now. Okay, we got down here. Now we're gonna do. Now here's the other thing, and every fisherman has done it. Has gone ahead and turned and 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 tied the line onto the spool. <laughs> tied the line on the spool. And here's what you got to do. Obviously, you have to open the bale. Open the bale to your spool. Now you open the bale because when you close the bale, then it's gonna be on there correctly, and you can wind it on. Now all I'm gonna do here, once I've got that open, I'm gonna put that down where it's down underneath, where I can just slip it over here and make a real nice little, I'm gonna come around the end just like this. I'm having a hard time seeing that. All right, let me sit down right here. Okay, I'm just gonna lay this down here on my lap. Come underneath that. I'm gonna come around here and all I'm gonna do is just tie a little half inch around there. That's all, just simply tie a little half inch around there. God, that line is so small, it's very difficult to see. Come through here. And so all I'm gonna do is just tie just a regular knot, just a regular overhand granny knot, 
We'll pull that down, pull it all the way down to the uh, to that. Now it's tight. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and behind my knot, I'm just gonna clip that off there a little bit. Let me grab my scissors. All right, got my little $3 Bass Pro Shop scissors. Actually just bought some more of those this week at Bass Pro Shop. I actually gave some away the other day. I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna cut that off kind of, kind of short. Those are real good braid scissors, so they work really good. Okay, now now if I would just pull that real tight, I would pull right through there and slip that knot out, and then that, I would have to redo it the whole thing again. So what I'm going to do here, and here's a nice little trick. I'm going to come in and just make a little half inch around that reel. See what I'm doing right there? A little half inch around that reel, like such. Now it's pretty good and tight. Now I'm going to come in there again. I'm going to make, kind of hard to show you this. The thing wants to... I'm gonna come in and just turn, see what I've done there? I'll just turn that, put another little half inch in there, two half, whoop, two half inches on that. Hard to tighten that down without it wanting to come off. Two half inches on there. That's, now, now, now I've got a good solid tight. I can start spinning that on there and, uh, and it's not gonna, now I'm gonna shut my reel. Shut my reel, got it right there. We're just gonna pick the line up now. Now we're ready to wind. Now you see how tight it is right there because we put those half inches on there. Now it's good and tight and pull hard on it. It's not gonna spin or slip around. The two half inches are really, really important. You put three on there if you want, that's not a problem. But you've got two half inches on there, that's got that real good and tight. So now that is not gonna slip. So now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna lay this up here and now on most lines, what you want to do as you start to wind the spinning reel on, as you start to spin, if you will notice, this is turning to the left. And so if it's turning to the left, I want this to come off of there to the left also. Now on most fishing lines, if you're looking at the front of the spool where the tag is, where the label is, that will be the, the, the correct way. But now not everything turns the same direction. So here's what I want to do. I'm gonna come over here and let me just back up a little bit. Set that over there a little bit on the edge, give myself a little bit more room. I'm gonna back up a little bit, this is a seven foot rod, and I'm simply gonna start coming off the top of that. Now you notice, you notice I'm coming off the top, and I'm coming off the same direction as this spool is turning. The same direction as this spool is turning. Okay, I'm coming off the top. Now here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna take and just go ahead and and a hard time slipping that off of there. I'm operating in a pretty limited space, and that's what I didn't want to do right there. That's what I did not want to do. All right, Jimmy, just lay it down there. Now it can't get away, okay? All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, now, you see that's coming off in the same direction? Now, on braided line, you don't have near as much problem with twists, but after you've wound a few few uh, deals of it on there, a few spools. What you want to do now is you want to come over here, open up your spool, like I've done right here, pull a little bit out, pull some of it off there, and just let it hang down and see if it's twisted. And you see that line right there? I know it's really difficult to see that fishing line, but you see it is not twisting. Pull a little bit more off, you see it's not twisting. So now if it's not twisting, you know that it's coming off in the correct direction. Now if that line's twisting, very simple solution, turn your spool over and then spool the rest of it on with it upside down. So generally, you, if you'll have your label up, generally you'll be okay. And then it's just a matter of going ahead and start keeping, put some tension over here with your fingers. I like to lay it over here like this. And all I'm doing is just winding that line on there. It's not one to, not one to come off of there. Wind that line off of there, put pressure on, put pressure on with your finger like I'm doing right here. Come here. You can also have somebody, if you got two people, if you got two people, you can have somebody hold it out there like that, which is what I need right now. If I had my beautiful assistant, Vanna White, Vanna, Vanna. Vanna. <laughs> Come here, Vanna. <laughs> Come here, Vanna, and hold this for me, baby. <laughs> Hello, Vanna, how you doing, baby doll? Vanna. Hey, just right there is fine. Just right there is fine. Hey, you got the right shirt on. Teamwork wins. 
Teamwork ends. NASCAR Series Cup Series champions. You won the whole championship? Yeah. Way to go, girl. She can hold that like that and just come right off the end. That's exactly the same thing as when I was going, uh, had it laying down, except now I'm not having any problems. You notice that? Thank you very much, Vanna. Hold on to that thing. Now I'm putting tension on here with my finger. Very, very important because you want that on there pretty tight. And then just simply you want to fill it up to where you want it. And I'm going to show you about how full I fill them. I fill them pretty full. Now, the one thing about braided, gosh, that's a smooth reel. Goodness, that's a smooth reel. One thing about braided line, it's going to take quite a bit of line because it's only six pound diameter. You can put some backing, but really I don't recommend backing on spinning reels. Some people put it on there, but not many pros that I know of put backing. One of the good things about it, it doesn't matter that you're using quite a bit of line uh, and quite a bit of braid because you're not going to have to try, change out your braid very often. About the only time you're going to need to change out braid is after you've used quite a bit of it. And quite honestly, you really don't use too much braid line because if we're tying a fluorocarbon coated leader out there to that, that's five, six, seven, eight, ten foot. I usually tie them about ten foot. That way I can retie my lure several times before I have to tie a new leader on. And you can use quite a bit of, you can use this line for a long time. So it doesn't matter that you're putting quite a bit of line on, which I really am putting quite a bit of line on these things. And we'll fill this up until it's about maybe a quarter inch or so of the front of the spool. You can always put a little bit too much on if you want. If you have too much, okay. You see where I've got it right here? I've got it about that full. That's up pretty close. Now that's different colors right there. So once you get up to the change it, uh, get all the black covered up there, you're in pretty good shape. I went a little bit past that. Now if I have a little trouble with it out there, it's better to have too much line than not, a, not enough. You know, I used to tell people when I was back being a carpenter, and I never was a very good carpenter, but I tell them, I said, I can't believe it doesn't fit. I've cut it off twice and still too short. <laughs> So it's better to have too much line than not enough line. So I've got that there and I've got it just about perfect on there. Now all I got to do is come in here and tie my leader on. Tie my leader on. Now once I put this on, uh, normally before I tie my leader on, I'll come in here and, and this is just something I do. I don't know. I don't want that line running back down through the, through the end. So I usually come in here and just tie that around the end of my rod. Just tie a little low uh, slip knot in there. Now I can carry this out to the boat. Carry this out to the boat and put a uh, put a leader on it. It's not going to run back down through my through my guides. Tie a little slip knot on there. Slide that down on there. Tighten it up, and you're ready to go. Now, if you'll fill your spinning reels that way, I promise you, you won't have any line twists. You're checking that line twist down at the bottom. It's got a little bit twisted down at the bottom. It's no big deal because you've just done a few, a few turns of it on there. Turn that spool over. Fill the rest of it. After you turn the spool over, go ahead and wind some more on there and double check and make sure you're not getting twists. Sp uh, braided line, a lot less problem with twist. You're not going to have near the problem you did uh, with using a uh, regular uh, monofilament line or fluorocarbon or something like this. You can use braid and then use your fluorocarbon coated leader on the end of it. That's what I do. There you go. You're all rigged up. That line is going to last for a long, long time on there. Probably be maybe a year before I put a new line on there. And uh, so, and I fish it a lot. Finally, I'll finally cut off, cut off, cut off, because when I tie new leaders on, I'm using up the line. This gets down a little bit low. That's when I change, probably be a year before I do that. That is putting line on the spinning reel. Real simple, real easy. Just remember, put the line through your eyes of your rod. When you tie your line on there, it doesn't really matter what kind of knot you tie down there, but put two or three half hitches down to hold it solid. Go ahead and wind it on, you're in business. Hey. Let's go catch a fish on this baby doll. Guys and girls, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to Jimmy Houston Outdoor Channel uh, on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Let's go fishing. Later, guys and girls.